learning isn't from a book. There are no tests in class about this stuff. I think their world just gets bigger. And everything we do is given with love. We're solely here to help. I'm definitely going to uh, become more of a leader and use the ability to step out of my comfort zone and do more. I grew up a lot. Founded on the idea that the most powerful kind of learning came from beyond the four walls of the classroom, Global Visionaries started as an idea from Jason Morgan Foster, which later blossomed into an organization through the help of Joe and Chris Fontana. We develop and embrace the student's ethic of service both locally through community service, youth reading programs, and charity donation drives, and internationally by primary school construction, reforestation, and hospital programs. After 17 years and 16 schools built, 1,200 students, we thrive on the ideal through social, educational, and environmental service. Global Visionaries empower students to create positive and sustainable change at home and abroad. After joining the GV family, students begin to make a difference in their local communities immediately with service learning projects that mirror the upcoming work in Guatemala. We work at local community gardens, planting trees, landscaping, and feeding the occasional chicken. Students organize an annual shoe drive through local schools, inspiring peers to donate a staggering number of shoes for children in Guatemala. Several of our local service projects were thought up by GV students themselves. Part of the whole Guatemala experience is the beforehand volunteer work. We kind of brainstormed and we came up with the idea to begin an after school program at Irish Elementary that would run consistently giving kids a chance to work one on one with students every day. So we applied for a grant while on the trip and GB gave us a grant to start our program. We do a lot of reading with the kids, like math homework, writing homework, whatever the kids need. I think that they really appreciate that long term help and that long term back week after week to keep our sort of service And of course, the Global Visionaries experience hits its peak with the life-changing two-week service trip to Guatemala, based out of the beautiful historical heart of the country, Antigua. Sharing in the experiences of its people and living with one of our safe, established host families. Participants receive a total immersion experience in Guatemalan culture starting with an eye-opening look into poverty. The Guatemala City Garbage Dump, situated in a ravine, occupies 40 acres of land in the nation's capital. This landfill, the largest and most toxic in Central America, houses over a third of the country's waste. There are few, if any, health and safety restrictions. Approximately 30,000 Guatemalans reside along the perimeter overlooking the dump. Another 4,000 men, women, and children live within this hazardous environment, scavenging for materials for housing, food, and items salvaged for resale. Typical mornings are spent on one of our three service projects, construction, reforestation, or hospital. Manual labor, you know, pickaxes, shovels, uh, moving block, kind of the old-fashioned way, but a very good way. For years, we've made a direct difference in the lives of Guatemalans through the construction of primary schools in rural areas, opening the doors for many who have never had access to a formal education before. Once a community reaches a universal fourth grade education, their whole world opens up. They learn the skills that they start thinking more about tomorrow's future, how they can change their lives. And now, since we've been in Guatemala so long, we're starting to build that secondary education where they really start to delve deep into what's an occupation that I can have that is not expected of me. Is it my whole family's coffee farmer, so I'm not going to be one. I'm going to be something different. And that's a really cool thing to see on a year to year basis. My name is DJ Fontana, and the best thing. In Guatemala, I was watching people build schools for kids my age. Global Visionaries is one of the few organizations that has this program educational, in which we involve young Chapines or young Guatemaltecos. 
para que ellos también tengan la misma oportunidad de poder ser líderes. Our reforestation program is constantly changing based on the needs of local farmers. Tasks range from clearing a hillside for new growth to planting shade trees for coffee beans. You can stand at the top of the hill and see the tangible work that you did. You can look out and be like, wow, I planted like a hundred of those trees. Two years later, you can come back and see the tree that was like this big is now like four feet tall and like three inches around. And it's like really cool to see that tangible impact. Over 300 patients, ranging from newborn babies to over 90 years old, live at Hospital Hermano Pedro in Antigua. This hospital and orphanage serves as a center for the needy to receive food and living supplies, a shelter and school for children with special needs, as well as a working hospital. Kids that choose to volunteer there have, have talents and strengths that I just don't see myself having. They work with some of the most extreme developmentally disabled people and they do it with a smile and they do it day after day, hour after hour, and that's just a trying thing. I chose the hospital um, because it's where I could make the most difference. The construction and reforestation, like that's, I mean, that's really helpful, that's great, it impacts a lot of people, but I thought the hospital would be the best direct impact. There's this one little girl who is, gosh, she's just adorable. Her name's Leslie. She is blind, but she's fully functioning. But when you when you talk to her, she gets so excited and she she claps her hands, claps her hands, and you'll you'll put your hand out and she'll just slap it. And she gets so excited from that. And you know it's it's you know she may not be able to see, but she still enjoys life. After service projects, students take a brief siesta with their host family, then on to Spanish school for an afternoon of one-on-one -on -one tutoring. In the midst of all our service and learning, we still find plenty of time for relaxation and recreation. Our final few days together are spent exploring the mysteries of the Maya in the ancient city of Tikal. Oriented. The students make most of the decisions. It's really trying to create leadership within a community of teenagers. You come out on top and you just feel so powerful from it. I think that the things we've learned here in Guatemala are things that I won't only take back home, but I'll live back home. Here, like, it's made me realize you don't need materialistic things to be happy. You just need your family and relationships with people. All together kind of means like love for others. Insanely life changing. Amazing. Growth. Ridiculously empowering. All right, life defining. Frightening. Exciting. Educación. <laughs> <laughs>